Lord Jesus, please give us the faith to face death joyfully. So just before we came together for the rosary, I got a card that said, you will die as my beloved. And that didn't really fit the profile of being raptured, which he had told me before, except that I guess we'll get to be raptured before everyone else if we died, right? So, you know, I wasn't really thinking about facing that. I've been thinking about it on and off and thinking, you know, I'd, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm prepared, right? It doesn't really matter. So I asked Our Lady, is this true? And then I said, you know, I'm too attached to hear you on this, Mother. And she said, I'm always with you. Your nation will be nuked and the air will become poisonous. And I said, like a long, slow death? And she replied, pray for the people in Europe that will be exposed to radiation. It is a miserable way to die. So many will be killed, animals, children. So you may pray for all of Europe, for this conflagration will be so very serious. Do not be afraid, Claire. Rest in his peace. These things are not totally determined yet, but I need you to pray for others, please. And I've been slack on that. I've been doing that as much as I should. Mother, please help me. In the meantime, I asked Father if that was a real word from the Lord or not. And I, he got fruitfulness, peace, and loving God. It could be either way, really. But I did pick up this uh, Mary book, and I turned to something very on point. The mother of life passes through death, and Mary's body rests in the tomb. This book caught my eye, so I got up and got a reading from it. So that looks like a, you know, a positive reading. The mother of life passes through death, and her body rests in the tomb. So that seemed to be a confirmation to me. I also have been wanting to open this book, the Jewish Bible. I was given Jeremiah 31, verse 4, which says... Once again you will plant vineyards on the hills of Sharon, and those doing the planting will have the use of its fruit. For a day will come when the watchman on Mount Ephraim will call, Come, let's go to Zion, to Adonai our God. So she did say, you know, pray for the people in Europe. And I said, Mother, please help me. And the reason why I'm breaking this up is because it says, I went to Father and I asked him, you know, is this word from the Lord? And I got fruitfulness, he did, peace, and loving God. So that could go either way. All I can tell you is to pray, she said. Something very serious is about to happen. Unless more prayers are offered, this will happen very soon. Blessed Mother, please dispose my heart to embrace and long for God's will. My precious family, you are not praying enough for this world and the people in it. She's speaking to us now. I really need more sincerity and depth with your prayers. Claire, you are getting distracted again. My beloved daughter, I cannot even begin to tell you how seriously we need your prayers. Not just for you and the community, but for those who will die an unjust death and those who will remain unrepentant. Please set your heart on those who do not know him. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. That was in the background, part of one of the mysteries that somebody read, and it fit right in with the message, so I wrote it down. She said, yes, pray for repentance. Pray much for repentance, both for yourselves and for others. My children, you must look into the mirror of your sins each day and ask forgiveness as well. There are many spots, wrinkles, and blemishes which you could remove just by being aware of the tendency towards sin. Acknowledge it, beloved ones. Be brave and acknowledge the sins. Then ask to be made willing to be willing. There are still many pleasures you are retaining. Giving them up will increase your anointing and love for God and your brother. Set the example, and others will follow. That was to me. 
As a leader of a community, you must always lead by example. And I said, Mother, I'm willing to be made willing, but not willing right now. <laughs> I need more grace. She answered me, There is much joy planned for you ahead of time. My son is more extravagant than you could possibly imagine, and that goes for all of you. At that time, in the background, the person who was praying said, Well pleased. And I felt that that fit in here, that he's well pleased with us. We just need to tweak the prayer buttons a little more. What he has planned for you is out of this world. Never could you merit it. His kindness and generosity is way more than you are capable of knowing. And then in the background I heard, If we share in his suffering, so shall we share in his grace. She continued, Your trips to heaven are very fruitful and nourishing for your souls. I would really like you to make many such trips and publish them to encourage others that they indeed have much to look forward to in the next life. Yes, they need to hear that and the truth about this community, how pleasing it is to the Lord. I have just given you the area where there is a lack among some of you. Praying for others still is the greatest act of your lives. Rest assured, those who pray faithfully and from the heart will have accumulated much merit in heaven. The world is starved for effective prayer. And then she said, I thirst, which is a quote from Mother Teresa when she was called to go out and take care of the sick and dying. She saw very, very poor man lying on the ground dying, and he looked right at her into her eyes and said, I thirst, and that was the inspiration for the whole order. And so she said, I thirst is still the cry of his heart. Please respond to this with your whole heart. And I said, I need your help, mother. I really need your help. And she replied, You are closer than you think to a breakthrough. Press in. It is not hopeless. That was the end of her message.